Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest CR Droid. Yes, that is right. Wins has received CR Droid Android version 12, and it is the latest version which we are going to test today. Now, I'm using the vanilla version of the ROM. Of course, there is only vanilla version for CR Droid, and I'm using the Flame GApps Basic. Um, well, let's get right into the show. As you as you know that CR Droid is a legendary ROM and it has been in the custom ROM field for quite a lot of time. Now with the CR Droid, you will get the stock user interface, whatever Android is offering you. Now, with this ROM, as you can see, you will get the basic uh, um, user interface stuff with the Quick settings, but the Quick settings uh, Quick settings launch is pretty much smooth. The quick settings is pretty much smooth. Now uh, the ROM has been optimized and the ROM has been compiled for wins by our friend Rahul and he did a great job in optimizing the trees as well as giving a smooth performance to the ROM. The Android version is 12, the CR Droid version is 8.2. It is on the latest security update patch and it is using the latest kernel from Unitrix 4.9.301 which is a nice kernel actually for Android 12. Now there is a problem with the uh, with the ROM if you are installing or if you are using the vanilla version with the basic GApps version then you will have issues with the keyboard as well as the SMS app. Um, um, I guess it, this is going to be something related to the source and if you want to use a basic version or a basic version of the G apps make sure to use Q qk sms app i've done a review on qk sms app it is a wonderful app if you want to use that on your device while using basic G apps version well i've made a review on it i will post the link in the description below maybe if you are interested you to use the, the the app you can definitely use the app so please make sure to watch the uh, watch the review and if you want a keyboard well you can use a open source keyboard called a flourish board beta it's a pretty much old version or even you can use a um, gboard which you can use as an add-on from um, um, from flame g apps or whatever g apps you are using now let us review the rom as i've told you the rom is really smooth in app launching and stuff like that so there isn't any much lag or jitter with the rom Let's have a look if the ROM is having default call recording option for the calling app. Yes, it has. It has call recording option for the dialer. Now let's come back to the ROM and take the settings. Now, CR Droid is famous for its customization. Let's take the CR Droid settings where we can find some settings for the ROM. Now the first one which we have is the status bar icon customization. Now they are, used, they are using the same kind of customization which we experience from Android 9 or 10 whatever that is. The same kind of customization that they are giving you in Android 12 too, which is really great and this ROM is amazing honestly speaking. And you will get the clock styles where you want to display the clock style on um, status bar then comes the network traffic monitor you can display it in three different ways upload and download or upload only then download only if you want to hide the arrows of the network tra traffic indicator you can definitely do that then if you want to enable the and disable data disable indicator you can do that then you will get some customization option for the wall light icon and wall wi-fi icon too that's pretty much good now if you want to have colored status bar icon on your status bar definitely you can do that and if you want to see the notification count on your status bar yeah you can do that well i won't recommend the notification count thing to be enabled once you enable colored icons it will mess up some things now coming to the battery styles you will get some uh, battery styles to choose which is really awesome and you can even enable or display disable the battery percentage styles so that is about the status bar moving on to next is the quick settings well if you want to show the clock on the quick settings header you can do that enable or disable it date um, battery style if you want to if you want to have a separate uh, um, battery style on quick settings definitely you can do that too then you get an option to enable or disable battery estimate and the brightness slider where you uh, how you want to show the uh, brightness slider 
um, you can do that and position also if you want to arrange the brightness slider top or bottom definitely you can do that auto brightness icon and the power menu shortcut and these all are the customization that is available with the cute settings pretty useful customizations coming on to um, lock screen customization settings you will get media cover art battery information these kind of charging information uh, once you put your phone on charger and char once you put put your phone for charging then just use double tap to sleep and uh, fingerprint authentication vibrations and ripple effect if you want to have some animation on your uh, lock screen then navigation bar pixel animation that is regarding the navigation now um, then you get some customization for the actions regarding the navigations too then comes the button the the first one is power menu customization option if you want to have the advanced restart definitely you can do that then secure the lock screen so which means that um, uh, if you want to turn off or restart your device you need to um, put your pin in so that is what uh, secure the lock screen is on about pretty much basic stuff with the buttons and the next is user interface ambient display you have some customization um, options then charging animation then charging animations then we have the monet settings if you want to enable or disable enable custom colors you can do that or use the default wallpaper colors then font styles i'm sure that the room is going to come with a lot of font styles which of course yes you can choose a lot of font styles then icon pack if you want to customize the user interface icon packs signal icon Wi-Fi icon if you want to customize the Wi-Fi icon then icon shapes that's really great notifications well pretty much the basic stuff that you have under the notification as you can see from here battery light notification light all pretty much uh, the basic thing then uh, sound pulse volume setup vibrate on connect vibrate on call wait and vibrate on uh, disconnect well the basic stuff then comes the miscellaneous if you are a regular gamer you can use the game space enable the game space unlock higher fps in games i'm not sure um, how this is going to work and yeah if you want to um, have unlimited storage for your photos you can do that by spoofing your device as pixel xl for google photos app only i'm not sure i heard there are some troubles with the um, unlimited photo storage i'm not sure if you want to use that um, use that facility you can do that and there is an option here with this here droid for that then swipe to screenshot and the pocket detection finally then finally you will get about cr droid and stuff like that now that is about the rom um, well the rom is pretty much smooth and it's really a nice rom too as you can see the scrolling is smooth and you even get some colored status bar icons well i'm not going to deep into each and every settings because we all are familiar with their room now let's go to the wallpaper and styles and let's see if we can work the themed icons yes it works so that is really amazing and if you want to change wallpaper no you just get one wallpaper so you need to save up some wallpapers on your gallery what are my verdicts about the ROM? Well, the ROM is really smooth and it's really nice. Thanks to Rahul for optimizing the ROM and building the ROM for wins. If you want to use it as a daily driver, you can use it. And the only thing that I've noticed is if you are using the basic version of GApps, then you might have to install extra add-ons such as uh, Gboard or Google Messages. Or if you want, to, if you don't want to use uh, these applications, make sure to download the QK SMS app onto your internal storage before you flash this ROM and the keyboard of your choice as APK file onto your internal storage. Then you can use it. I've not found any bugs or any major issues with the ROM. Um, if you want to use it as a daily driver, definitely you can use it as a daily driver. It has good amount of customizations too. Many thanks for watching Let's Talk by George. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon too. Thank you.